A group of American experts exchanged views on policies devised by the Trump administration. Kim hye shares with us their insights from the 5th Korea Research Institute for National Strategy Brookings Joint Conference. An immigration ban and threats of a currency war. The first three weeks of Donald Trump's new administration have sparked uncertainty across the world. Over 200 government officials, scholars and experts on Northeast Asia gathered at the conference in Seoul on Wednesday to discuss the prospects for cooperation between Seoul and Washington under the new U.S. administration. Experts said the security relationship between Seoul and Washington, which is tied up in the North Korea threat, will make Trump's policy towards South Korea, and particularly his military policies, similar to those of previous U.S. administrations, as evidenced by Defense Secretary James Mattis' visit to Seoul last week. The nuclear issue is right now more serious than it's ever been. Uh, they've conducted five nuclear weapons tests, each one increasingly successful. Uh, they are now working uh, to develop a uh, long-range missile, an ICBM. It's going to be really important for the United States and the South Korean government together to develop the specifics of the game plan. Additional isolation, additional pressure, additional sanctions, additional exercises, all done in a much more intense and focused way. More sanctions, encouraging defection, even a possible preemptive strike on the regime. Various ways to deter North Korea's nuclear ambitions were laid on the table. Those gathered also discussed President Trump's protectionist stance, like accusing China and Japan of currency devaluation, which has raised concerns within South Korea about its economic relations with the U.S., its second largest trading partner. America First has an implication of economic nationalism. I think one thing that is notable is that despite his criticisms of Korea during the campaign, he has not mentioned them since he's become president. And I think part of that is because he has become convinced that there are real security dangers here in Korea. He doesn't want to undermine that. Despite the political uncertainties in South Korea and the changes in the U.S. government, the experts all agreed that, as history shows, nations with strong allies thrive and those without them wither. And that a strong Seoul-Washington alliance is in each other's national interest. Kim Hye-sung, Arirang News.